In this video, we'll see how you can set up your WhatsApp cloud API account in just few minutes. So all you have to do here is go to your Chrome and search for developers.facebook.com. And here you have the option of sign in. Once, once you're signed in, you can see my apps here. You have to click on this, my apps button. I have already created two apps here, but let's start with a fresh one by clicking on create app. If you're entering for the very first time, you have to create an app first. Now you can choose what type of app you want to create. If it's cloud API only just select business, then click on the next button. Now, here you have to write the business name of the app, not the WhatsApp account of the app. So I'll write tele CRM trial and I'll select a business account. I'm going with this one. I'll click create app and my app is being created now after writing the password, my Facebook account. Once that is done, we need to add a product to our app. So we'll go with WhatsApp here at the very bottom. Just click on setup. So the basic setup of your WhatsApp is done. Now to get started, you need to verify your number. So at the fifth step at the very bottom here, you need to click on add phone number, right? Just click here. And then you have, you have to choose your WhatsApp business profile name. So I'm going with tele CRM demo, right? I have to choose a category. So for me, it's professional services. You can go through the entire list and find which category you belong to. Now I'll write the description. It could be just, this is an official WhatsApp API account. I'll click next. Now, this is where I have to verify my phone number. And in this process, you need to understand one thing that you can all, you can only use the number that is not already in WhatsApp, neither in messenger, not in business, right? So I'll select nine one India, write my number. And I'll choose a text message verification here. I'll click on next. We, I have already used this number. So it's giving me this, otherwise you will get an OTP. Once you write the OTP, the number will be available here. You can check at this place, whether your number is available. By default, you will have only one test number, but once your number is verified, you can see another number here, right? So that was all about the basic setup, how you can set your WhatsApp business API with your number. In the next step, we will see how we can create a, a permanent access token. We will discuss about tokens and we will uh, see how we can integrate it with TeleCRM, you know, to uh, automate our sales or marketing part.